Annika Dean was in the baggage claim area when the fire or gunman opened fire and barely escaped with her life. Annika, good morning to you. Good morning. First things first, I understand you're a mom of two boys, ages 11 and 13. I know they were on your mind, and I know you're thankful for them this morning. Uh, how are you holding up? I'm doing okay. I'm doing well. Annika, take us, if you can, back inside that terminal yesterday. What did you see? What did you hear? When did you realize what was going on? I was standing at baggage claim three and I heard gunshots. I, I knew what was happening. I, I'm a teacher for Broward Public Schools and I've been through two active shooter trainings. So when I heard the gunfire, I looked in the direction of the shooter. I saw the shooter. I, I, I can describe him, he had the black hair, blue shirt. He had the gun. I saw the shots being fired. I immediately ducked behind a smart cart uh, and I just laid there. There wasn't really anywhere to hide. I couldn't have escaped. I couldn't have run. And uh, I was there maybe 30 seconds and an older gentleman laid on top of me mm. and said, I will protect you. Wow, have you been able to, to find him or get in touch with him? I have, yes. What yes. did you say to him? His name's Tony, Tony Bartosowicz from Rochester, New York. I thanked him many times throughout the day. Really grateful uh, that he was willing to mm. put himself at risk to shield, shield my body. And you know, I was praying to God the entire time that, that my children wouldn't lose their mother mm. or have a seriously injured mother. He, the gunman was walking around and, and he was shooting people near me. And I thought I might be one of his victims and I'm grateful for a man that shielded me. That was a picture of Tony that we just uh, had on the screen there. Annika, as, as he was shooting, did, did you hear him say anything? Could you tell whether he was saying anything at all? He wasn't saying anything. There was a man to the right of me I haven't identified that was shouting obscenities at him that I believe attracted the shooter to our area. I, I didn't realize how close he was, but Ruthie Bellman, uh, who was also there, told me afterward that he was right next to us. And uh, Tony told me that there, were, there was a shot fired over us. Uh, I, I had my face to the carpet. I was not looking. I did not want to look. I was just praying. Well, Annika Dean, thank you so much for talking to us. We are happy you're okay. We're certainly playing for you and all the families who are involved. And best to your, to your boys, ages 11 and 13. Thank you, Annika. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.